Hello, welcome to Hatha Yoga. And so today um, we're going to be doing a seated opening. Um, we'll come to some all fours and do some things. We'll come up and do some standing poses. We'll come down, we'll come and do some seated poses. And then we'll be supine on our backs for some poses. So you may like a couple blocks here to help you um, for support in some of the standing poses we may do. Um, <laughs> excuse me, that time of year. Um, but if you don't need them, then you won't necessarily need them. The strap, um, we will use, everyone will use this at the end, um, no matter your fitness level, um, to open up. And then those of you that cannot do the cow face fine um, with your hands, um, the strap can be really nice for that um, as an assist as well. So I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm sitting on a blanket. You can do the same. Also great for knee cushion as needed. But from here... Let's sit nice and tall. Good. Ears, shoulders, and hips in alignment. And we'll just close your eyes. You can keep them open with gaze forward and cast down. Just kind of root the sits bones into your space a little bit here and just start taking some nice, deep, relaxing breaths. See if you can breathe in and out through the nose. Expanding that rib cage. You can bring in that Ujjayi Pranayama here, that back of the throat constriction breath. I like to call it Darth Vader breath. Some people call it victorious or ocean breath. Good. And then from here, fingers to the side, palms turning up. Inhale, reaching up, looking up at those hands as you bring them together. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we have not done the I am um, affirmations in a while. So I'm going to bring those back in today. So everything is going to start with I am. And this is kind of a play off the um, so hum, hum so, which is I am that that I am. So as I give you these I affirmations, I want you to repeat that into your mind to yourself and then say the I am that, that I am. And then from here, we'll take that up and reach. Let's just get a nice side bend towards the left. Try to keep shoulders and hips in alignment. How deep you go here is 100% dependent on your own body. So you may not look like me and that's okay. Try to keep this top arm a little bit longer. Try not to just let it kind of dangle there. You'll get a little bit of a slightly deeper connection. And then using your obliques, your side abs here, let's come up. We'll take that right into the other side. Reach. Breathe and expand. And coming back up and reaching nice and tall. Let's get a nice rotation towards the left. Arms are coming down. Rolling shoulders back as you look a little bit more behind you. Now I felt myself kind of wanting to grip with this opposite hip here. If you're doing that, see if you can relax through there, soften. And then inhale to lift. Exhale, center. Inhale, exhale, other side. Arms come down. See if you can soften a little bit as you rotate. And then we'll come back up and come back to center. Let's take the hands to the shoulders here and just move forward and back. This will help us later. Also loosens us up a little bit for downward facing dog and plank. Good. And then just take that into some circles. And then let's reverse that circle. Good. And then we'll go into chicken wings. So we're just lifting and lowering and lifting and lowering, and lifting, and lowering, and lifting, and lowering. Good, just get some nice rolls. 
what other little movement that you need, take that. We're going to go right into a pranayama practice. Sometimes a longer pranayama works better after you've moved a little bit. So we'll go into that. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale for the count of three. We're going to exhale for a count of six. We're going to do that four times. And if you've got the Ujjayi Pranayama in your practice, I would like for you to bring that in. I cannot count and do Ujjayi at the same time. So that's going to kind of be on your own, but it would feel like the, or sound like this. If you're doing the full. Okay. So from here, take a big exhale. Good. Inhale one, two, three, exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do this a couple more times. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Return to your normal breath. Notice how you feel. Good. If you did that with the eyes closed, you can open your eyes. You can move the neck around a little bit here. And let's come right into all fours. So if you need a knee cushion or a wrist cushion, go ahead and bring those in. I'm going to move my folded blanket out of the way. Good. So you come into good form, spreading the fingers nice and wide, rooting through the knuckles. <laughs> Excuse me here. I will be taking lots of tea breaks during this practice, so I apologize about that. But always take care of yourself. So, spreading fingers nice and wide, rooting through the knuckles of pinky, quarter, and thumb. Knees are under the hips. They can be slightly wider if you've got a cranky low back. Top of the feet are down. I'm protracted in my shoulders, so I'm pushing away, I'm pushing away. And then from here, belly button is in. Inhale. Take the chest forward. Tip the pelvis back. Nice cow pose. Exhale, round, looking towards the thighs, mad cat pose. Good. And just take a few rounds here, moving with your breath. Good. And the first thing that I want you to repeat to yourself is I am strong. I am strong. Repeat that to yourself and then say, I am that, that I am. I am that, that I am. Good. And then from here, we'll come back to tabletop. Going into an opposite arm leg balance. Let's start with the left foot coming back, pressing back through that left heel. Let the left heel drop slightly just so the pelvis is a little bit more even. Now I'm still protracted here. I'm pressing in and forward into my hands. My belly button is in. Getting that breath, getting that good stretch. And once you're ready, good, you can come forward again. As you lift, you don't want to go higher than the hip, but you also don't want to go higher where you droop the back here. So you want to be able to keep that nice and lifted. Once you're ready, right arm can come forward. Again, I'm protracted in that left shoulder. I'm pressing away. Belly button is in. So this is a balance challenge. It also strengthens the front body and the back body simultaneously. And maybe point and flex that back foot. Maybe you want to bend and stretch your hands. You're still breathing here. Good. And we'll bring that down. Good. If you need to come back and do a little decompression um, in the wrist coming to cupcake fingertip, always take care of yourself. Otherwise, let's move into that other side. So planing the hands. We don't want to wait there on the fingertips. Good. 
taking that right foot back, pressing through that big toe, pinky toe mount. Good, I'm gonna drop the right hip slightly, pressing that foot back, I'm pressing in and forward with my hands. My belly button is in, I'm breathing. Making that nice stretch. Remember, I am strong. I am that, that I am. Good. So again, you can lift, lift to your level, keeping that belly button in, back flat. The left arm is going to come forward. We're protracting, we're pushing the floor away with the right shoulder. So try not to hang there. Good. Belly button stays in. Good. And then maybe we point and flex that back foot. Maybe bending and stretching that hand. And then we'll take that down. Good. And maybe find a little cupcake fingertips. Now, while we're down here, let's find a little child's toes as well. So knees can be as wide as the mat together or somewhere in between. Good. You can take your arms long in front of you. If your shoulders don't want that, you can take them back by the ankles. Letting everything release. Forehead can come to the floor or to a block or folded blanket. Make it nice and active, zipping up from pubic bone to behind the navel. Expanding that rib cage as you breathe. If your arms are long in front of you, could you walk those fingertips up just a teeny tiny bit more? Good. Now, if your arms are in front of you and your palms are down, could you rotate from the shoulder? taking palms more towards the ceiling, see how that feels. And it may not feel good to your body, and if it doesn't, then don't stay there. I like the little bonus stretch that it gives me here. And then from here, I'm gonna take my hands back down, hands under the shoulders, and pressing up. Let's take this into a downward facing dog. So if you're a taller person, you'll want to take your hands about half a hand's width or full hands width forward. If you're a shorter person like me, you can be your hands um, right where they are. It's going to be fine. I'm going to tuck the toes. I'm shifting back. I'm pressing in and forward into my mat, rooting through knuckles of pinky corner and thumb. I'm going to lift my knees and hips to the floor as I continue to press in and forward to my mat. Good. Now from here, I'm just going to get situated again. Pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mounds, maybe hip width is apart. Knees can be bent or long. Good. I'm pressing in and forward into my mat. I'm turning my elbows more towards the ceiling here. Ears are by the biceps, shoulders away from the ears. So again, you're protracted here in the shoulders. Good. Now you can hang out here if it would feel good to you to lift the heels, lower the heels, walk the dog, find what you need. Big breaths. And then from here, once you're ready, from that downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk or step your feet forward to meet your hands. Good. Just inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. So if you cannot touch the floor, you can come to your blocks here. Keep the knees bent and back flat. Knees bent if you've got a back issue, back flat for everyone. And just breathe. I'm just taking the time. So in a flow-based class, we don't spend a lot of time here on this one. Just kind of notice how it feels for you when you're here and take the time to notice. Good. From here, I'm going to bend my knees. Now, I'm just going to come into a dangle, okay? So you can let everything just kind of fall here. You can grab elbows. Let the head and neck be free. It's getting a little bit of traction down the spine. Stay with the breath.
about I am capable. I am capable. I am that, that I am. From here, when you're ready, releasing the arms, keeping the bend in the knees, pressing down into the floor from hip to heel, coming all the way up, flat back as you rise, reach, exhale, hands to heart center. Finding your breath, your mountain. I am strong, I am capable, affirmation. From here, when you're ready, let's big inhale, reach, exhale, bend the knees, long spine as you fold, coming to blocks or to the floor. From here, I'm going to plant my hands. I'm going to step back into another downward facing dog. Good. So find your downward facing dog, find your good form. Good. And then from here, once you're ready, I'm going to step back just a little bit here. I'm going to look forward and we're going to come to a plank. Now, your knees can be down here or you can be lifted, but find your plank. Forearm plank is fine. Five breaths. So this is about a 30 second hold. Remember, I am strong. And then from here, once you're ready, good. You can shift that back to your downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, right leg's gonna lift three. Might help if I actually lifted the right leg. <laughs> right leg's gonna lift three points, bending that knee. Good. And I'm gonna bend. So I'm trying to round my spine if I can as I step through. Now, if you can't do that, then get your right foot up there in the way that you need to get it up there. And just find a nice little lunge. Your knee can be lifted here. That's going to be a little bit harder. We're grounded. That might actually be harder for some people. I'm getting a deeper stretch there today. So this is where I'm going to stay. So just kind of find it. You want your front knee to be over or behind the ankle. Front heel is down. If it's not, that foot needs to be more forward. Find the length in your torso wherever you are. Belly button is in. So I am strong. I am capable. I am health. I am health. I am that, that I am. If you're like, well, but that's not true, then a good idea maybe is to try to come up with some small sustainable steps to improve your health, health as well. Now from here, whether your back knee is lifted or grounded, plant the left hand on the floor to a block and then find your nice twist here. Again, we're twisting from length. Envision one day stacking the shoulders, looking up and breathe. Look up at the hand, get that throat chakra involved there. We'll take that down. Good, with or without your blocks, your back knee will ground here if it's not there already. Good, and we're gonna come back to a nice half split. So for this half split, I want my hips to stay over the knee. This leg, you can shift it more forward if you need to, I usually do. Keeping a micro bend in this knee, good. Some of you are gonna be at different lengths. So just being here might be enough for some people. Others might fold in just a little bit with a longer spine. You can even take your arms, hands, blocks, whatever, a little bit more forward if you've got that depth. Watch this front foot here. You still want it to be a little flat, like you're standing on the wall in front of you. So you don't want it to be kind of doing this um, internal rotation thing that sometimes happens. Okay. 
Staying with the breath, always breathing. It's the most important thing. And then from here, if you took hand blocks, anything forward, we're going to come back in. Good. You can put a bend in that front knee. Good. I'm going to tuck the back toes, lift my back knee because I was grounded, and take my front foot back. And just rest here a moment in your downward facing dog. Coming a good down dog form. Now, I'm going to shed a layer because I had my heater going in this room earlier. Let's get that off a little bit here. Okay. So finding your downward facing dog. We're going to repeat that on the other side. So now left leg lift three point. Good. Bending that knee. Step or pick up and put that left foot forward between your hands. Again, you can use your blocks. Maybe you don't need them. You can have a nice long lunge here. Um, I'm going to lower this leg just because that's how I did it on the other side, just so that I'm kind of training with relative balance here. With or without your block, find your length. Again, that front heel is on the floor. Take that foot more forward if it's lifted. Front knee is over behind the ankle. We've got a nice long torso here. A lot of people don't like blocks, but if you look at my lines, I've got a nice long line from crown all the way to the knee. That's because of block. If I was trying not to use blocks, then I kind of come out of that line a little bit. So blocks can be really good for coming a little bit deeper sometimes in form. They're not always a crutch. Good. Now from here, with the back knee lifted or grounded. Right hand can come to your block or to the floor. Good, we're gonna open towards the left. Really rotate from the torso. Look up, reach up. I am strong. I am capable. I am health. I am that, that I am. Good. And this is active. I'm really pushing away from my floor here, my right hand, and I'm really opening. And I'm shaking a little bit here. Good. And I'm going to take that down. Good. Coming into half split with or without your blocks, I'm going to come back. I'm going to keep my hip over my knee. Good. This knee needs to, or leg needs to slide forward a little bit for me. Good. And again, watch. You don't want that to be internally rotated here, so it's nice and flat. And then if you've got the depth and want to go there, you can always keep your length as you come forward. Left hip back, right hip forward. Breathing. And then once you're ready, good. If you took arms block forward, we'll come out of there. Good. You can come back into the lunge, planting the hands, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee. Step back, find your downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Good, from your downward facing dog, step your feet back a little bit here, move forward, find another plank. So you can be on the forearms, knees down, knees lifted. Good, so this is another five breaths. Find your length. Good. From your plank, find your downward facing dog. 
Good. One more time. Get a really good down dog in there. So you're pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mounds, pressing in and forward into the hands, rooting through the knuckles of pinky corner and thumb. Elbows turn forward, shoulders away from the ears, ears by the biceps. From down dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet. Come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Taking a moment. Finding your breath. Notice your mountain. Are you locking the knees? Are they a little bit soft? A little bit of a neutral spine. A zipped up front body. Relax, shoulders. Good. All right. So from here, let's do one more little standing sequence. So I'm just gonna have my blocks on each side over here, just so they're there when I need them. Okay. And I'm gonna come to a nice wide stance, one of my favorite positions is cross three test. So from here, good. And you wanna kind of give yourself a little bit of a test. You might be really flexible and you might be a little bit wider than this, that's fine. But ideally, you want your wrists and your ankles to be in alignment. So you do want to make sure that you um, do come out wide enough. Okay, so belly button is in. I'm pressing through the outer edges of my feet. So I'm not collapsing on my inner arches. I'm zipped up. Hands to the waist. Rolling shoulders back. Elbows back if you can. And we'll fold. Now you have an option. You can leave your hands there. You can come to a nice angle. You might, once you're a block under the head here, you might want to release taking hands and arms to the floor. I'm going to grab Yogi Toe here. Good. Pulling up just a little bit as I go just a little bit deeper, but not too deep. I want to honor my body's limits. And you want to try to keep a long spine here. So a lot of people have this tendency to collapse and go into flexion. Try to keep a nice long back here. Sometimes putting a block under the head will assist with that. And then from here, once you're ready, you're releasing any grips, little bend in the knees, pressing through the outside of the feet as you come back up. From here, we're going to take warrior two. We're going to start on the left side. So I'm going to turn my left foot towards the left. I'm going to turn my right foot in. I've got about a heel to heel, heel to arch alignment here. And then I'm going to take my front hip back, back hip forward. Good. Bending the knee. Good knee is over behind the ankle. I'm out too wide. There we go. That feels better. Good. And then opening the chest to the side and reach. And now you're in warrior two. So find your breath. I am strong. I am capable. I am health. I am at peace. You're building strength here. The longer you're here, the harder this becomes. With a bent knee or a lengthened front leg, take it back, find exalted. Try to find exalted without shifting the hips. Looking up. Good. Finding your warrior two. Lengthening here. We're going to find our triangle. So front hip's going to come back. Back hip's going to come forward. I'm rooting my feet into the mat like I'm trying to rip it apart from one into the other. Good. So this is mostly about the legs and the core. So I'm lengthening. I'm keeping a long spine. When I can come no more, I'm going to take a thigh, a shin, a block, or the floor. And I'm going to open up here. Good. Stacking of the shoulders. Front hip is back, back hip is forward. I'm pushing the floor away or the block with my left shoulder. 
Good. Now, for those of you that want a little bit of a challenge here, you've got to really root into the leg. You've got to really have that forward balance. Maybe take both arms forward. Breathe. That's a nice core challenge, isn't it? And then from here, once you're ready, good. Find your triangle. Look down at that front foot, put a bend in that front knee, and come back up. Good. I'm going to turn my left foot in, right foot out. We're going to take that on the other side. So I'm going to angle in this left foot now. Good. So heel to heel, heel to arch alignment if you can. Good. Front hip's going to come back. Good. I can bend that front knee over behind the ankle, opening up my chest, finding warrior two. Good, and reaching and breathing. About I am my truth. I am my truth. I am that, that I am. I am that, that I am. With a bent knee or a lengthened front leg, try not to shift the hips. Take it back exalted. Really reach up there. When I do that right now, I'm actually feeling a nice little stretch right through here. So hopefully you feel that today or from time to time. I don't feel it all the time, but I am the day. It feels lovely. Inhale. Exhale back to warrior two, lengthening that front leg. Good, rooting into those feet and legs. Front hip comes back, back hip comes forward. Lengthen, it's a hinge from the hip. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. When you can come no more, take a thigh, take a shin, take a block the floor. This side, I don't need the block, so I'm gonna open up. So having the arm on the inside um, is a little bit more challenging. It's a deeper rotation of the spine. Outside's a little bit easier, so just kind of be mindful where your needs are. And then again, for those of you that are ready for that challenge, maybe taking both arms forward. You have to be good in the legs and the core and balance here. Lots of things happening. This one took me a while. So how about I am perseverance. I am perseverance. Perseverance and trying. Is how I got to this point. I did not say, well, I can't do that and then give up and never come back to it again. Try, try, try. Practice makes progress. Good. We'll take that back down. Looking down at that front foot, putting a bend in that front knee, coming back up and bringing that foot back in. Good. Last little fold. Big inhale and reach. Exhale. Hands to the waist. Elbows back, rolling shoulders back, and find your fold. Notice how this one feels compared to that first one. You can take your hands anywhere needed. Shoulders away from the ears. Spine is as long as you can get it. Pressing through the outer edges of the feet. I can move a little bit more into the balls of the feet, but my heels are still grounded. And then pressing through the outer edges of the feet, putting a little bend in the knee, and we'll come back up. Good. Let's do a balance challenge here before we come to the floor. We'll take half moon today. So I'm just going to carefully bring my legs back together. Good. So from here, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my block, and you may not need a block. There are, sometimes I don't need one either, but I feel like I do, just like a tip of my teeth. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the long block here. I'm holding it like this. Good. And you want to kind of come, it's almost kind of like a, not quite your full um, warrior two position, but somewhere generally kind of in that vicinity. So hip, knee, and toe, your left leg is going to be your balance leg first. It's going to track forward. We do not want to balance. I'll show you from this angle. We do not want to practice balance challenge with the foot turned inward here. 
If you try to go forward with that happening, you're going to get ankle issues, knee issues, hip issues, low back issues. And if you've already have those kinds of issues, it'll make it worse. So um, always try. And for some of you, you know, just moving forward and back, getting used to going there. This might be all you need today. This can also be done up against the wall. Good. But then when you're ready, I'm taking my block or my hand forward and to the left of my left leg. Good. Once I'm here, I'm pressing down from hip to heel. I'm opening up that hip to the side. And then maybe I can release my hand and look up there to the ceiling. Good. This one took me a few years to be able to do out from away from the wall. So I am perseverant. Try to hold that there for five breaths. I know it's hard. I make it look easy, but it is a lot harder than it looks. And then when you're ready, good. I'm just going to come out, bending my supporting knee, and coming all the way up. Good. Shake out that supporting leg if you need to do that. We'll take that to the right side now, which should be interesting. My right side is my weaker side. Notice how I often don't start with the right side. Teach your secret. Good. So you might do this exactly the same way you did it the other side. The other side, you might do it a little bit differently. Depends on the strength of this leg and your balance. But from here, we'll go through that again. Right hip, knee, and toe track forward. Good. I'm holding my block. Good. Maybe you come forward and back. Okay. And then when you're ready, okay, your hand or your block is going to come forward, down, and to the right of the right foot. Good. I'm pressing from hip to heel into that left or right leg as I open that left hip. Maybe I release. Maybe I look and breathe. 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 A lot of people in class are looking for that stability. I tell people to come up against a wall. Sometimes it's a matter of their hand not being forward enough and to the right of that leg, supporting leg. So once they take it out a little bit wider, then they stop doing this rotation. Just kind of find it the way you need to find it. Good. Notice what you're doing. Notice what your habit patterns are and then see if you can correct from there. And from here, when you're ready, we're going to come back to the floor. So you can come to the floor in whatever way that you would like to come to the floor. I'm going to bring in my folded blanket here. Good. And we are going to go into cow face pose from here. Cow face pose from here. I believe also known as Gumukasana. So um, I'm going to bring in my strap because I cannot bind um, my hands behind me. But um, different things for different people. If the leg portion of this doesn't work for you, just do crisscross applesauce and just do the arms. If the arms portion doesn't do, you know, work for you, just do the leg portion, okay? So let's start here by taking the right leg. That's going to be my base leg. So I'm going to pull this foot and heel more towards this left hip bone here, okay? Now, this left leg is going to cross over. You'll see in picture, you know, this nice, perfect um, knee alignment. I don't have that. Here's my top knee. Here's my bottom knee. Do what you can do um, best as you can, both hips grounded. Okay. And then because I've got the left leg on top, I'm going to take my strap into the left hand. Okay. So that's going to be behind me. The left hand has a strap. I'm going to bend that elbow. From here, my left hand, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to bend it. And I'm reaching for the other end of that strap. Now, if you're able to bind your hands here, um, you can go there. Good. And you want to be able to do this from a nice full seat. You don't want to be able to, you know, have to do this flexion in order to get a bind. You want to do it from a nice tall. And we'll breathe. Good. And you make it harder the closer you try to get the hands together. Pain is not normal. 
I have seen people dislocate shoulders and this one trying to get spine. No bind is worth a dislocation of a joint. So practice wisely. Good. How about I am present? I am present. I am that that I am. And then once you're ready, good. I'm gonna undo my right hand first, and then my left, and undo the leg. Good, and then from here, if you need to shake something out, if you need to do a little windshield wiper, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we're gonna take that all to the other side. So I'm gonna take my left heel more towards that right hip bone. Good. My right leg's gonna cross over. Good, again, here's my right knee, here's my left knee, I'm not in alignment, do what you can do. My right leg's on top, so I'm gonna take my strap now into my right hand. Good, that strap's gonna come behind me. I'm gonna bend that right hand. Good, left hand's gonna come out, rotating, reaching for that strap. You might be able to bind here. Good. Once you're ready, good. Find it, we're nice and tall. Belly button is in. I'm also squeezing my legs together as best as I can here. It's easier for me to do on this side than the other side. I am hope, I am hope. I have hope that one day I'll be able to buy in my hand. For right now, I'm going to be in the present. I am that, that I am. Are you ready? Good. Left hand's going to release first. And then the right. Good. And then you can undo here. Good. Windshield wipers, shake out the legs, get what you need. We're going to do one boat pose here a boat pose here. This can also be done on a blanket. I'm not gonna do mine on a blanket. I'm gonna move it out of the way, but you could. You can also bring in your strap here. Um, but from here, different things for different people. So remember, Navasana, boat pose, we have a nice long back. So we don't wanna do it from here. We wanna do it from here. So zip up that front body, this is forward. You might be able to dock your boat, taking hands behind you and being here here, here, or here, okay? You might be here, 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 okay? You might be here. Find it where you need to find it. Belly button is in. How about let's go back to I am strong. I am strong. I am that, that I am. I am that. That I am, keep breathing. And we'll take that out. Legs come forward and lean forward and just maybe grab toes wherever you can grab. Nice long spine here. So take that chest forward just a little bit. Feels good coming out of there. And when you're ready, we're going to come onto our back. Grab your strap if you haven't used it already. And once you get down here, just kind of wiggle around, get nice and situated. This is our time to relax. We're going to do one bridge here. So hip knees and toes are in alignment with each other. Rolling shoulders back, pressing into the arms and shoulders as you press into the feet and lift up into that bridge. And now while you're in this bridge, you're welcome to stay here. You can lift the heels and lower the heels. Maybe heel rock. Lifting heels, rocking back on the heels, lifting the toes. You can even march it here. A little bit more core work in the marching. Okay. Or you can be in stillness. Could you press into the feet, press into the shoulders, lifting a little bit higher? And then from here, taking that down, knees into the chest, and rock, rock, side to side. 
Taking the foot into the strap. Let's take the right foot into the strap. Okay. So from here, we're not going to do the whole series. We've already gotten into some of these muscles. But from here, good. I'm just going to take it back. Just a gentle stretch. You could come up a little higher. Um, but I'm going to keep this a little bit more gentle versus my maximum. Keeping the micro bend in the knee. Upper body is grounded. Belly button is still in. And we're still breathing. Maybe still with that Ujjayi Pranayama. I am joy. I am joy. I am that, that I am. Good. I'm going to release my left leg here. I'm going to take both straps into the left hand. Good. And then I'm going to find a 45 degrees of degrees ish arc over and that might be it for some of you others are going to go ahead and take this into a full spinal twist leg stays in line with the hips so if you have a tendency to flop it on the floor put a block under there i want my right shoulder to be grounded and i'm going to look to the right When we're ready, we'll bring that back in. Good. Let's take a midair switcheroo. We're going to do the same thing on the left side. So from here, maybe a little bit of a lower grip. Good. Just gently bring that leg in. Keep a micro bend here so we're not locked out. Breath. And when you're ready, good, we'll release. Both straps into the right hand, right leg's gonna come long. You can find that 45 degrees-ish arc um, where you need to be, or you can take that leg all the way over, keeping left shoulder grounded, leg stays in line with the hip. Looking to the left, full spinal twist. And we'll come back and moving that strap and we'll set ourselves up for Shavasana here. I'm gonna bring my blanket back in for a little neck pillow. Good. So the final thing I will give you here to kind of ponder um, while we're in Shavasana is I am a beautiful soul with a beautiful purpose. I am a beautiful soul with a beautiful purpose. I am that, that I am. And taking some deep breaths here, coming back. Choose stillness or maybe take head and neck from side to side and invite movement of fingers and toes.
choose stillness. We're taking knees into the chest, choosing to keep the upper body grounded, or if it's safe for you to do so, maybe lift up into a full body hug. And choosing stillness, moving any props out of the way if you use them during Shavasana today. Taking arms long behind you, legs long in front of you, reaching from fingertips to the toes, full body stretch, pointing and flexing through the feet, bending and stretching through the hands, twirling wrists and ankles in one direction, and then in the other. And then once you're ready, good, bending in both knees, and you choose rolling over to your right or left side, the side that works best for your body in this moment. Taking all the time that you need here, and then when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. So we started our practice. We're connecting with all of those affirmations. And the so hum, hum so. I am that, that I am. Fingertips to the side, palms turning up. Inhale, reach, 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 and lengthen. As you bring those hands down, stop those thumbs right in front of the forehead for good and true thought. To the lips, for good and kind words. And to the heart, for open and loving hearts. Knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted. No gain is ever reversed. May you be safe. May you stay well. May you have a wonderful day, evening, week, season ahead. Thank you so much. Namaste.